Salutations, this is Grim Davel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Rimworld Alpha 14 in our ice sheet uh, ice sheet biome where it is very, very cold. It is this is probably one of the warmest one of the warmer temperatures that it's been at negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh negative 13 oh no, it's still negative 19 out here. It's negative 13 in here. We don't have a heater in here yet, but I think that's what Ben is going to build, although he should probably work on these power conduits before he actually builds the heater. In any case, once we get, um, oh, we we actually want to build one more heater in here. Just right up here. And where are those power conduits? Yeah, I think. I just like to build along the walls here. That should be close enough for this heater. Once we get the heaters in here, we will turn on the sun lamp and we will actually start growing in here. And that's gonna be awesome. I could start making hydroponics, but steel is in short supply right now. And I would rather make sure that steel goes to the heaters and power conduits right now. Um, I might want to put an orbital to trade beacon in this room so we can sell anything that we store in here. Although at some point we'll probably move all of that storage into this area. In fact, I might, let's see, we might, where's our orbital trade beacon? Right here. We might uh, want to expand this to as large as this orbital trade beacon will hold. That's probably a good idea. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can at least do that. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, yeah, that should, that should make logical sense. Now, I don't, I don't know. They, we might need to put in like a supporting, supporting columns here, actually. Hmm. I might need to do that. Let's see. Structures. And we'll just put in a little wall, a little slate. Um, a little slate, like supporting columns here and here. Actually, it looks like it's longer. It's we're going it's longer this wise, right? So let's cancel that and cancel that. Okay. Yeah, just some supporting columns so we can make sure the entire room is roofed. Should be fine. This is indoors. This area is still unroofed, so we'll need to roof that before we do anything in here also. We just traded with these nice folks from the Purple Wolverine Menino. And our power situation is, so we're not generating a lot of power right now. I think it might be time, now that this is finished, to start making, to start expanding this over here. Mm -hmm. And Um, yeah, I think that'll be, that'll work. I'm just leaving the, I don't know. I just see these growing zones and I'm like, oh yeah, I might as well save those. And it will probably never use them, but it's just, I don't know, a little OCD thing. Ben, what do you, oh, the power conduit. It's good. That's what we want you to be doing. We're lacking socially. In fact, we, I think we, the next thing we might want to prioritize is a rec room. Uh, Cause these guys need, a, you know, we could free this up as a, an actual, uh, I don't know, research lab or something, bedroom. I don't know. I'm thinking we, you know, we could build stuff into here and we could actually make, maybe we make this like a hallway here. Yeah, that might, that might be a good idea. So let's see. Uh, we'll start using some of the sandstone here. It'll be brown and black, which is very um, 
you know, I know you're not supposed to use them together, right? It's a fashion faux pas. Um, we're going to have them go like that. And this will be just a little way to get around here. We'll put like doors here so they can get out. They can cross outside if they want to. Um, but this will be a, a good way for them to get in into here. Actually, I think I'm going to raise this by one because I don't, I want them. Actually, this works out pretty well, doesn't it? Because this is, this will be the bottom row here. Although it would be good for it to be two. Yeah. But all right. Sorry, slate, slate at the bottom, goes across, and this is sandstone, yeah. Yeah, like that. And that still leaves some space here for people to walk around if they have to. And there's also space... I mean, that space to walk there, nothing's going to, they can, anyone can walk right through here. It's just an area where you can't like build stuff other than like solar panels and plants if this wasn't a frozen biome. So let's see. Now, we actually probably want to put a dining room off of this room, I would think, um, which might be over here. There's some growing zones here, but maybe we'll build the dining room off to the left here. That might be a good idea. Uh, yeah. All right. So Ben will Ben will work on this, and once that's done, um, I think I'll feel I'll feel better about about this area here. Maybe we'll put a door in here too. What is this? A steel door? I guess a steel door. Steel doors are. We don't want it. It's just. We don't want to build them out of wood, and doors made out of stone are so slow. Unless they're auto doors, but that takes power. 25, I mean... Should we just put it here? Actually, at some point we may have... Eh, it's fine. Let's put a door there. Trade caravan's leaving. I'm probably not the best at planning ahead with some of this stuff. I guess we'll need that steel for other things, like these batteries. What are we... Are we using components? Yeah, we are out of components, aren't we? Alright, let's find some more stuff to mine here. Some components to mine out. Anything? Man. It takes so long to walk around this map because of all the snow slowing down movement. And then... And then there are no... There's no steel or components that are really that close. I mean, we could start... When we start mining into some of these mountains, we'll probably come across, uh, like, veins of components and steel. And I could do that. I could start making some exploratory... I mean, honestly, even mining this out might help a little bit. Hmm. Okay, how are we doing here? Uh, yeah, we need, we really need components. Okay. We're kind of at a standstill until we get components. Uh, I mean, there's this one, Osborne. Um, yeah, after you eat, hurry up and eat. Come on, consume it. Okay. Mine there. Uh, what? Where'd you go? <laughs> Don't turn. Why would? Mm. Come on. Dang it. No, right here, this one. Why would you, like, you're, you're keeping the same job to mine, but you want to, like, go mine something different than what I told you. No, we want components. 
before you rest, let's at least get one component, okay? Come on. Okay, just haul it. Haul this back. Okay, it looks like we did reveal some more components here. Which is good. Alright, so we have two components. Hopefully we can prioritize that to be used in this heater, maybe? I don't know what else it would be used for, so... I guess there's this heater here. Yeah. But that's one for that. Oh, we have these batteries. Right. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we'll mine, we'll mine more out. When Osborne wakes up, I'm going to... And, you know, and make sure he gets some joy time and stuff to keep his mood up. <laughs> we got to keep him away from Ben's wife, too. Uh, toxic fallout. Oh, all right. First of all, cargo pods. What is this? Insect jelly. Uh, okay, food is food. It's a little far away, but um, I'll take it. And toxic fallout. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over this entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last for anywhere between a few days to over a month. Well, fortunately... Um, this isn't that devastating for us because we don't have any food that we're growing outside. If we did, it could be, you know, it could ruin our entire, like, food economy, but if that's the right word, but it doesn't. Uh, all it means is we have to monitor our fallout and, like, the, um, our, like, toxicity levels, and that could become an issue because it takes us so long to move around the map. Um, and we don't... You know, I'm kind of, let's see, this food up here, uh, it does go bad. It just takes so long to move around and they will get some toxic buildup doing that stuff. Uh, what is that? I hear someone building. Is that just, oh, here, it's Ben. Uh, all right, so we're gonna monitor Ben here, who, who is outside in the toxic fallout. This stuff can last for a while, too. See, he already has initial buildup. It does go away if you're indoors. Speaking of indoors, um, let's make sure that this area outside here is set as a no roof area. Otherwise, when they when Ben finishes these walls, it might they he might start roofing all this stuff, and we don't want that. These are solar panels; they can't be roofed. Okay, that'll put my mind at ease. Um, so we could tell everyone, you know what, I already have indoors set, and I might tell people, I might restrict people again to do that. Um, but now indoors, I can also, uh, I can also add, um, where is it? Expand a lot area, indoors, this area here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, and this area. In fact, all this. And if I really wanted to, I could just, like, unrestrict Osborne temporarily to do some mining for when we have to do mining. The insect jelly, I'm just going to leave up there for now. I think when Osborne wakes up and gets in a better mood, I think I will have him do some mining and just monitor his fallout levels. Now, Ben, so they will cross um, to get from one zone to another. But, they, but, like, Ben won't work outside on this stuff here, I think, which will be important. I think it's okay for them to walk outside as long as they're heading from an indoor area to an indoor area in general. Yeah, let's see. 7.8. Yeah, it's it's going down. Oh, yeah, he's got to work, work on the roof here, too, which is important. Very important. Ben, can you work on this heater? You need You don't have the materials. I guess we put those components into what these... I don't know when, what we put them into. Oh, this heater. Well, there's that. We need more steel, too. Now, I could actually take this opportunity to mine deeper into this 
This stone? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, well, for, uh, let's see. Let's um, increase the stockpile area to all this. And this should all be covered by the Orville Trade Beacon. In fact, I think we can even go further right or left here. But for the meantime, I'm just going to... Or it's not like we're... It's filled or anything. Um, I'm going to do an exploratory vein here. Vein? Is that the right word? An exploratory mining expedition. I'll go here, and then we're going to just mine straight down from there. Just for funsies. Uh, and we'll put a door here, too, to keep the heat in. Uh, and that door, at least for the time being, I don't have a problem being a slow stone door. Uh, once he once he starts mining. Uh, but we do need components. So before he does that... Are you researching? Don't do that. Um, let's unrestrict you. Osborne. And then... Have you get those components wherever they are? What here? I was born. Okay. And we'll make sure that you continue to do that. Instead of turning around and doing whatever you feel like doing, like that. I want to keep everything that I've marked to mine as marked, but. I don't want to keep having to, like, reset his task here. It's kind of ridiculous. You'd think the game would be like, oh, once you manually tell someone to do something, they'll keep doing it until it's either it's done or they have some kind of emergency or, like, some need that they need fulfilled, not just switch jobs because it refreshes whatever, like, countdown they have. <sighs> okay, good. But he, he is continuing to mine at this compacted machinery. And you don't have any buildup yet. Awesome. So once you're done with these three, probably, or as soon as you get some toxic buildup, if you've mined these three, I think we might set you. Although if you don't have any yet, we might have you mine out even more. Hold on. Resting? No rest. No rest yet. Um, are you still? Still no toxic buildup, so keep doing this. But I will let you, after you've done this one, just haul these back. Okay, and that should be enough components for everything we need right now, I think. So I, I will restrict Osborne again once he gets back. Cool. Uh, what? Ayano, why are you on a... Why do you have a mental break? There's no reason here. You are... Oh, that's not Ayano. Ayano. Ayano, you're really happy. Ayano is super happy. She's a night all at night. Very low expectations. Attended a party. Tons of joy. Happy with her husband. She's wearing some tattered clothes. Ate a not-so-great meal. And had her sleep disturbed a little bit, but... She's super happy. Look at her mood. Why did she go into a fire starting spree? Just because she's a pyro... I guess when you're a pyromaniac, you just maybe all of the sudden start a fire starting spree as an event? That is interesting. Well, fortunately, everyone except Ayano is a firefighter. Um, ben will have to wake up here, I think. You're not well rested. Osborne... Osborne is actually better rested, so... Um, as soon as Ayano... Alright. We're just gonna extinguish these fires as she starts them. Oh, you're fighting fires. Good. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Osborne. Can you not get to it? Is that what... Can you not get to that fire? What's going on here? Oh, Ben's Ben's doing it now. They're all helping fight these fires. This is ridiculous. Um, Osborne. Fine. You can eat. 
don't know how long Ayano is going to be doing this. Mm. He's going to be really upset because we keep interrupting his sleep. Alright, Osborne. Put that out. Put that out and then eat your meal. <sighs> Ridiculous. At least she's like confined to this area. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? You're still on a fire starting? Oh my gosh. Osborne. No. Oh. <laughs> Osborne. Unrestrict. You are our firefighter. Sorry, sorry, you can't sleep yet. That's the bad thing about Ayano being a night owl, is that she's starting fires when everyone's asleep. Oh my gosh. She's gonna chase Ayano around. How long is she gonna do this? <laughs> I mean, you guys see how ridiculous that is, right? <laughs> the snowman's on fire. <laughs> Osborne has to start being in a not so great mood, I think. Actually, his mood is okay, so I'm not feeling too bad about this. Even his rest is above the the mark here. Not too bad. Ah. Uh. Oh, Selvi's up. All right, Selvi will now start fighting fires. Um, in fact, Osborne, let's re-restrict you. And Selvi, we will unrestrict you. Selvi, instead of doing that, please extinguish this fire. This is ridiculous. It's not really doing any damage. It's just super annoying. Like, I feel like even a pyromaniac, if they go on, like, a firebug spree, like, they're not gonna... Okay, she's finally done, but, like, they, they're not gonna, like, just run around trying to light everything on fire everywhere they can, right? They would, like, have something more meticulous and deliberate, I would think. I mean, I'm no... I'm certainly no expert. <laughs> okay, well, they'll repair the little bit of damage that she did. Who's idol? Selby? Why are you idle? I guess there's nothing to clean in the limited area that we're allowing you. Which I guess is fair. Um, can we build that... this yet? We still need materials. We have components now, so that means that we just need steel. <sighs> well, when Osborne wakes up... And he, he does have some initial buildup now because of all the running outside fighting fires. Um, so maybe, hopefully, Osborne will do some exploratory mining and then hopefully come across some steel veins. There's this one over here. We could just slowly work down to that one, right? Sure. Um, but Osborne needs to sleep. We we kept him up way past his bedtime. He's got some good rest here, though. Now. Um, rebuff Ayano. Very hot. Oh, because of the um. Oh, it's actually only it's actually above zero degrees outside. It's still freezing, but um, for those who don't know, in Fahrenheit, freezing is thirty-two degrees. Um. But all this stuff's sick. Oh, sick from the fog, from the toxic buildup, which is still not not too too bad. I think Osborne will just naturally come in here. Oh, but this isn't an allowed area. I think let's make that part of the allowed area. Um, zones, uh, indoors. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, now you should start mining there. In fact, Ben might also. Yeah. Tch. 
Uh, we don't have any block. We have a we have a bunch of stone now, which is nice. In fact, have we maxed out our bill? Oh, look at that! We have auto doors now. Uh, what do we want next? Good question. Uh, machining. That'd be good. We could actually like uh, melt down that bot over there. Um, carpet making. We don't have any. We don't have a lot of stuff to make cloth out of um, or carpet out of. Uh, let's see. Devil's, yeah, Devil's Jam, we're not going to grow. Colored Lights, I don't care about. Pemmican, I don't care about. Brewing might be... Yeah, we don't have the hops. Smithing. I think machining. I think machining. Mm-hmm. I don't think we want smithing. We, we're going to want electric smel smelting by the time we get to that. What's our... We, where our, our tech level is industrial, so... But yeah, let's do machining. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so this... Yeah, it looks like we actually have 500. So we could set this to be more. I mean, why not, right? If our colonists aren't doing anything else. Uh, let's go look at the details here. Let's make it 1,000. Sure. Always need more blocks. Um, mm -hmm. This is a normal priority. This is an important priority. This is a preferred priority. So I'm going to set a blocks to be stored in here as an overflow storage for blocks. Uh, let's see. I never remember where blocks are here. Is it should be resources, right? Is it menu? It's not manufactured. Raw resources. Stone blocks. There we go. So this will be an overflow storage for blocks. So Ben's upping his mining skill a bit here, which is fine. And Osborne is doing some research, even though I guess that's okay too. He just does research as like a backup thing, but he is pretty good at it. Uh, not nearly as good as Iano, but Iano, it's fine for Iano to up her crafting skill. We do want that to happen. Um, okay, how are we doing? All right, how are we doing with the toxic buildup? Osborne still has some, but it is diminishing. Uh, we have not found any steel here yet. But I am hoping. Because it would be really great to get... Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, we just need the steel. We just need the steel. Okay. Uh, Osborne... I mean... Well, we could have Ben do some mining. Uh, over up here where there's steel. Although he has a peg leg, it'll take him even longer to get there. I did forget about that. Okay. I mean, I just remembered. All right, so we'll wait until Osborne's toxic buildup is totally gone. He's sleeping now, maybe by the time he wakes up. And then we'll have him go to where the closest steel vein is, which I think is right here and right here. Yeah. Not too, too far. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. Let's see. We'll get him after he, he'll wake up, he'll eat, and then we'll have him go mining. Eh, eh. I don't like that it's there, though. No one else has it. We could still get lucky here. All right, let's put a, let's put a door here now, too. Um, structure. Let's make it out of sandstone, sure. Oh, not, no, a door. Sandstone blocks. Bam. Okay, now toxic fallout, fallout can last a very long time. If you've, if you're not aware. So we, it could be like a whole, maybe even longer than a season. Shouldn't be too, too bad though. This iguana skin is still, so skin, the skin, I don't know if like maybe some skin degrades outside. Oh, we have some silver here. That's nice. Um, or if like like maybe leather doesn't, or but fur does. I don't know. Uh, but Osborne's the one doing the mining now, which is probably good. What is Ben's mining? Um, character. Oh, so you're ten, and Ben is. Oh, Ben is actually higher mining. We just have Osborne doing it as dedicatedly 
Oh, we start compact machinery. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's not steel, which is what we need right now, but it's more rare. This is very good. In fact, we will set that compact machinery to be mined. Hurry up, Osborne. How cold is it out here? Negative 10? Not, yeah, I mean, that's cold. You'll be okay. Okay, well, no steel there. Let's backtrack a bit. All right, I think that'll work for me. And then we'll have to set that zone to be allowed. Zones. And, and we know that there should be at least steel over here, but I don't want to expose it quite yet. Okay. Cool. Now let's haul this away, please. Somewhere. Um, this heater's not on yet, right? No electricity. Still no electricity. Can we not get to that power con- Oh, we don't have the steel. Right, we have no steel. Right. All right, how's everyone's, uh, oops. How's everyone's buildup? Selvi has some buildup now? It's not bad, though. Osborne's is still kind of high. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, we have everyone, everyone's indoors, okay. Oh, all right, we finished one of these batteries. Mm-hmm. All right. Which is good, and once, once these batteries are both built and filled up, then we will flip this power switch. looks a little different. Looks like there's an open area here. We'll see what happens when we mine this out. Uh, Alright, how is everyone's mood? Happy? 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 Everyone's happy. How's our food situation? Our food situation is still pretty great. I gotta say, this is the first game where I've really actively used a nutrient paste dispenser. And it is working out very well. Thank you for uh, those commenters who reminded me to build a nutrient paste dispenser because uh, this has probably saved my fortress, definitely. Uh, if, I, if I had you know, just continued to cook meals like I started doing with a stove, we would all be starving, I'm fairly certain. Uh, but this is great. This is really tying us over until we're able to get um, actual like uh, food growing going. Fruit growing going. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these will be potatoes, I think, because potatoes grow pretty fast and they're pretty hardy. And when we have the resources, we'll still start building hydroponics. But we need a lot more steel for that. All right, I am, where's everyone? Uh, I think maybe, I kind of want to, how do I get this to be hauled away? I think I need to set a zone for it, right? Like a little dumping stockpile zone. We'll just put it like, uh, next to it. Husky joins. Okay, that husky's going to die, but that's okay. And this is going to be, um, this is just temporary. Uh, okay. Oh, huskies, plural. Three of them. Wow, we're gonna wait till they get close to us. Uh, although for the time being, we're actually fine on food. So I'm just gonna let them roam. And as we've done before, we set an area everywhere except the freezer. So they're allowed to go everywhere. Oh, we need to actually clear part of that zone out now because we expanded our freezer. But uh, that means that they should, they have free reign and they can eat whatever they want. 
like, for example, um, corpses that we haven't buried, which are like scattered throughout the map. Although I think we've actually done a pretty good job clearing them out. Um, <laughs> although they will probably eat the remains of whoever this is, uh, Serana, who actually comes clothed. That's kind of rare. They're actually pretty great. They're pessimists and a prostophobe, which aren't great, but they can do everything and they have a lot of passion, but we don't need them and they are going to die and they are going to become husky food. Uh, Cause yeah, we have enough food now, enough meat that like slaughtering these huskies is not even gonna be like worth our time like to manage them coming over and then slaughtering them. So they can just have free reign as long as they don't eat my food. Uh, and that's what's gonna happen. Um, so, oh, here we go. Here, they they did reveal the area. Not much in here, um, but that is interesting. All right, well, that was uh, not as interesting as I, th I hoped it might be, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so we are getting closer to steel. And as soon as we do get close to that steel, we will actually be able to make these heaters and start these growing zones. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen next episode, but it's going to have to wait till then. So thanks for watching, everybody. And ooh, well, that is that is some way to end the episode. See, if we had our backup batteries, that wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, where was it? Hold on. Before I end the episode, I need to rebuild wherever that power conduit was. Although it looks like... It looks like it just... Oh, right here, I guess. Yep, that's what it was. Not a big deal. Can they not? I think they can't get through that. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do that. Um, so, yeah, next episode, I'm pretty sure we will be able to... Um, hopefully this won't affect the heat. Fortunately, it is daytime, and we have both the solar panel at full blast and the wind at half power, so our batteries are going to start refilling immediately. Anyway, next episode, food. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. I enjoyed playing with you, and I will see you later. Bye, everybody.